<sighs> We're here, but we have the flu, or I still have the flu. You're kind of over it. Yes. I, I announced today it's gone. This is the first time I washed my hair or sat upright in like four days. I, can't, I don't even know what I'm saying. She at least has <laughs> hair. I'd call that a high class problem. <laughs> anyway, I got this very interesting question. What, yeah, what is the Good Men Project? What is that? Well, I found out by going online. So, this, you know, I, you know what I get all the day. How do I have an orgasm? Is this really an orgasm? How do I know it's an orgasm? I'm going to go, oh, orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. And this guy writes in and he says, is there such a thing as having too, too many, many orgasms? orgasms? And I went, wow. That's an interesting question because we never get that. No, but People I just want to have one. <laughs> Women many. are grateful if they can just have one. So here's somebody who is saying, can you have too many? And I, I've never, ever given that a thought. So what was Not the conclusion? Really. Okay. So I'm going, oh, and I went to the website. and our, this The goodmenproject.com. The, the Good Men Project, which is also a magazine. And it took me a couple of seconds. Christian marital monogamy. And then okay. I, then I stopped and I said, oh, if you want to live a lifetime of monogamy with one woman and, and remain faithful... No yes, cheating. Yes, yes, no, everything. Well, what are their rules? Like, what are they saying? Like, what's their advice? No porn, no masturbation, and don't think about sex so much. In other words, it's about... De-sexing your sex de-sexing life. De-sexing yourself. And so it's abstinence, nearly only abstinence for adults. And I went, got it. I got it. And you probably didn't imagine that you would say, yes, they're right. If you want to just have sex with one person and be faithful... So I wrote back to him and I said, you know what, if this is the lifestyle that you want to maintain, sustain, I would say that they have some very good points because he was questioning them. Mm -hmm. And no, yes, absolutely. And I remember this dear, dear old friend of mine married, I don't know, 40 years, and she claimed that she and her husband were still having sex. And uh, still monogamous. And still monogamous after all those years. And I went, wow. How do you do it? And I, so I said, I said... Please tell me. And so she, she didn't want to discuss her sex life publicly. And I go, well, okay. And so next time I was... You got the husband, didn't you? Because <laughs> the husband will tell. <laughs> well, I was at a party not long after that, and he was there, and I went up to him, and I said, hey, come on, give me... Give me the secret sauce. Give me the, give me the clue. And I said, um, how do you remain monogamous and sexually active after 40 years with one person? And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, by not doing what you teach. And I went, and I didn't say another word. And I said, no sexual fantasies, no masturbation. That had to sink in. Less sex gets less sex. And more I, sex. Well, Grant and I were so clear about this when we first started having sex together. We were both sex starved, and we're fucking, 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 mm -hmm. sucking, sucking, diddling, diddling. We, we, it was just You're creating like, sex energy in your life. And uh, I kept saying, "How come I go home after we've had a date and I masturbate?" Because you want more. Well, you, the memory, it's like it's like it's cooking inside. Yeah, you're you're, you're cycling ooh, the sex ooh, energy ooh. in your body. So he said, "Betty, sex begets more sex." Isn't and that I the went, truth? Wow. Sexual abstinence works for adults much better than it does for teenagers because they have control. There's your answer. You want to be monogamous, less sex. Accept it, enjoy it, and when it's available, really enjoy it. And that's the whole idea. <laughs> as soon as I can, I'm going to masturbate. I promise, next week. 